Good morning, everybody. Groundhog year, it feels like, because I've just watched the news for the first time in, in f ages. And it's looking like we're going to have the same January, February, March as we probably had last year, which is going to absolutely suck. But anyway, staying positive, I um, hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year break. But it is a new year, 2021. It looks like I'm like melting into myself. <laughs> the year that I finally melt. At the start of every year, I write down not my New Year's resolutions, but it's more like uh, like goals to try and hit my sort of yearly goals. And I'll be interested to see what last year's goals were. I think last year's goals, a lot of them couldn't happen for obvious reasons. But I'm gonna go find my old notebook and also get my new notebook because um, I finished mine last year. First time I've ever actually got through an entire notebook. Um, in a year, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go through that, look at my old goals, see of it, which of those goals I managed to hit, see which ones I'm gonna set for this year, and see how doable they are. Okay, so, Joe's little big red book. Actually, to be fair, it wasn't one year. It was 2017 to 2020. So it took me three years to finish this book, but I did finish it. It's full of all my ideas, um, workings like loads of different things like one day I'm gonna look back at these books and think my god I had a lot of um, a lot of stuff on the go but I want to find so my 2019 goals I managed to get one two three four five six seven eight nine out of eleven of my um, 2019 goals I managed to hit one of which was to land my first proper acting role which didn't come until last year unless you count uh, the West End well, I did put in there a West End roll, which which was a tick. But yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. But anyway, let's move on. Let's try and find 2020 goals. Oh, okay. Have a successful tour with Diane. Well, um, <laughs> travel to at least one new country. Uh, <laughs> well, that didn't happen. It was it was hopefully gonna happen, but it didn't happen. To be fair, I got one of my 2020 goals ticked off. There was things I had planned and things I wanted to do in 2020 which never happened. Um, but that's the way it goes, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to adapt, you've got to change with the times and adapt, um, which I think I have done. 2021 goals, here we go. 2021. <sighs> Looks like Diane's New Year's resolution has failed already. Didn't take long. <laughs> How? 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 Ah, ow! Ow! Hello, United Kingdom. Hi, Australia. <laughs> and Wiltshire. Hello. Hi, how are ya? How you? Yeah, not bad. We went we went back into bloody lockdown today, didn't we? I heard that. Yeah. I heard it. You heard it right. We're back in another lockdown. We are. Lockdown three. I feel like it's going the way of like the Die Hard films. I There's Die Hard one, Die Hard two. Absolutely sedank. But it doesn't. It's not bad. It it doesn't matter. We're we're back in we're back in lockdown. <laughs> back in another bloody lockdown. I don't understand why that's so bad. I just did a yoga. Yeah, but yoga to kind of make you smell, doesn't I it? Did. That's like that Hoonie shirt you had that one time. Yeah, it is. We like went that. away, and even when we washed your shirt, like it still three stank. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, once again, we're back into a lockdown for what, six weeks? Another six weeks? Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. What are we gonna do? You still haven't seen Harry Potter? I haven't actually. No, we could do Harry Potter. We could watch all the Lord of the Rings films. True. We could continue watching Walking Dead. We really, Diane's been really into her zombie films as of recent. I have actually. We started watching the Walking Dead and we had to stop because we got through almost two series in like three days. Mm. Which is um, I had to stop because I started to think that it be was becoming real life. But it, in a weird, in, in a weird in a way, weird it way. kind of is. I know <laughs> that is the freaky thing. Oh sh me, dead. But yeah, so that's great news. We do still have actually have um, a plan um, in place for something that we had planned actually last year um, that can still go ahead, which is good. Yeah. Um, which is exciting. Yeah, we have we still have got some really exciting things um, planned for this year and on the horizon and things in motion and stuff, which is super exciting. So watch this space. Watch <laughs> this space. I look like I've seen a few lockdowns. 
<laughs> I feel like. Well, it's because we're, our skin is both so pale at the moment. Yeah, can we? That's what I was saying earlier on. I reckon we should just fake tan again. We can if you want. Make us feel a bit I better wanna about fake, ourselves. I want to. I want to. I want to pamper day. I want to feel good about myself. All right. It's a new year, new us. I've written my um, goals for the year. Have you? I've done that. Yep. I've written my goals. And uh, one of them is to go to at least one new country. Oh, but that's after so cool. today, I, you know, I had that on my 2020 goals list. Oh. And that never bloody happened, did it? So I'm hoping that at some point this year, we can visit at least one new country. I did hear a good thing today, though. What did you hear today? I heard that, yes, the situation is so shit, right? But it's not the situation at now because we're used to this situation. Yeah. It's the way we deal with the situation. It's the frustration of knowing that we should have been in a lockdown back in September. Yeah. But they decided that COVID doesn't come for Christmas. No, it's fine. At Christmas, it'll be all right. F off. <laughs> oh. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. COVID's still there, isn't it? Exactly. Oh. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, six seven, and eight. eight. Then we're gonna go. <laughs> Broken toe. We've had this package arrive, and oh my word, you might like this, Doc. Oh, is it white? Oh. It's like a a briefcase. Oh, <gasps> oh my god! It's, it's the, the golden, golden goobly. Uh, hashtag gifted. This was gifted to us. Um, by Cadbury's. What okay, are these? Can I give you a um, quiz? Yeah. How many Cadbury cream eggs are made every day at the Bourneville factory? Is it A, 1 million? Is it B, 1.5 million? Or C, 1.25 million? 1.25 million. C. I got, I got it right. No, you went for C. The answer is in fact B, 1.5 million. 1.5 million, these things are made a day. I was gonna say 100,000. If you laid all the Cadbury cream eggs made in a year from end to end, how far would it stretch? Is it A, Bourneville, UK to Beijing, China? Is it B, Bourneville, UK to Dubai, United Arab Emirates? Or C, Bourneville, UK to Sydney, Australia. Oh my God. It's gotta be Sydney, Australia. Really? C, Sydney, Australia. Let's yeah. have a look at that. It is C, UK to Sydney, Australia. Holy sh that's a lot of eggs. That is a lot, isn't it? If you stacked all the Cadbury cream eggs up, made in a year, 160 million on top of one another, how much higher than Everest would they be? A, 900 times, B, 500 times, or C, 700 times? I keep wanting to go for the highest one, but I reckon B. 500 times. Yeah. The answer is A, 900 times. There is a little bit of a thing going on here. It's always the highest. Isn't it? They're just bragging. I'm going to do one more. They're bragging right now. Ah, that is fun. The fastest a person has ever eaten a Cadbury cream egg is in how many seconds? A, 8.6. B, 6.3. C, 5.8. 6.3. B, 6.3. It is in fact A, 8.6. They've tried to trick us That's there. quite a long time. I say that, it's actually very fast for a cream egg. I mean, you would do you take... Want to, do you want to try and beat that? I've got a stop clock. No. You don't? Do you reckon, yeah, how, like, realistically, how quick do you reckon you could eat a cream egg? If you were ravenous? Because it's quite gloopy, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it probably could eat. Yeah, it's got a chocolate it's kind of... I don't want to try that on you because you'll choke and scare me. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I think I'd be scared of choking. I bet that person's like an anaconda. Eating, an, eating like an egg. Fine Eggs exclusive golden cream masquerading as the much loved classic and went up to £5,000 in selected stores across the UK. Oh, so. You... This, look, what's this? Oh my god, it's like Willy Wonka. Golden Goobly. It's a candle! I don't think we've. Got <laughs> They've given us a dud! Wait, wait, wait. Leave it open. Let's stick this in there and light the candle. Two. Maybe one is golden? Maybe because. <gasps> then... Is it? This is the golden one. Oh my god, yeah. I found it, I found it. Look. I got a golden egg. Look at that. It's like Willy Wonka. I always wanted to win that golden ticket. I feel like you could eat it quicker than eight seconds. Mm. No, I couldn't. Is it good? Too sweet? Mm -mm. Never been a fan of like the middle bit. The fondant? Yeah. Oh, that for me is childhood. Most of you watching this right now will know exactly what we're about to talk about. Um, 
I forgot that I didn't even put, this blog was meant to go up actually quite a while ago, but I forgot to put it up. But we did uh, put out a statement on Instagram last, was it last Tuesday? Gosh. Or this Tuesday? I feel like, no, 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 last definitely Tuesday. wasn't this Tuesday. Last this Tuesday. Tuesday was yesterday, Joe. Oh yeah, last Tuesday we put out a statement um, basically explaining that uh, due to obviously the current situation with coronavirus, um, the tour that we had planned for last year got postponed to this, the end of this March. Um, unfortunately, because of the current situation, that can no longer go ahead. Um, and so as a result of that, we've had to cancel uh, the tour. So it's really frustrating. I mean, obviously the time has passed now since we found out uh, and the decision was made and all that kind of stuff. Um, we tr we've tried to think of other ways to do it and to make it still happen. But unfortunately, due to everything that's going on in the world right now, we just can't get the show out. So unfortunately, we've had to cancel the tour. Uh, it really sucks. It does really suck because it's obviously me, Diane, and a lot of other people put so much hard work into it. We spent over a year planning it, getting it all Did, ready, and we? writing a script, and you know, finding the right people for the show, and, and then obviously the coronavirus happened. But you know, it's beyond our control. We couldn't do anything about exactly. it. Um, uh, so for any of you that didn't see the Instagram post that I put out or the Instagram that Diane put out or the tweet that Diane put out, um, hopefully you're watching this too. Uh, it's just a message to say, unfortunately, it can't go ahead. Um, so you will be refunded your ticket. Um, but also, uh, if you don't hear anything back, we haven't had the refund, then call or contact the person you got the ticket from. Um, we're not in control of sorting out everyone's tickets. Um, but the place you got your tickets from is the place to go if you have any questions or um, any queries about it. Speak to your ticket provider. <sighs> anyway, on that. On that note, should, on we, that should lovely we do note, something a bit funner? Like what? Say something a bit funner. Like, what, what should we say? I don't know, like. We haven't really got any positive news to, to put out there. I don't know. If I'm honest, it's just a bit of a crap situation. But the main thing is, um, everyone keep safe. You know, exactly. the reason why we're having to do what we have to do, it sucks for us because we wanted to put on a good show and it, I know it sucks for you lot at home because you wanted to see a show and you're looking forward to it. But the most important thing over all of this is the fact that... That we all get safe, this thing goes away and we've got to do the right thing and follow those guidelines so that it can go away and shows can start up again at yeah. some point. I mean, we, I was, I've said this before once again on my live stream as well that I... I would feel awful if I knew that someone at one of our shows caught COVID, spread it to everyone else, Imagine, yeah. and then it got back to their parents or grandparents. Like that is something that I don't want on our shoulders or on our conscience or anyone that you know that's working with us on their conscience either. I want everyone to feel safe and secure. So, uh, so yeah, unfortunately. We, we can't do it for now, but um, we just want to say thank you so much to all your support. Yeah, for the people thanks, that, guys. People that are excited for the tour and that were coming along. Um, we will find a way in the future to, to, to perform for you guys for or years. do something in the future, hopefully. Uh, but just a massive thank you. And with that, I'm probably going to end this vlog. Um, if, you, if you did enjoy it, I mean, you probably didn't because of the news, but... Um, you know, if you did enjoy the vlog and you're excited to see more vlogs, we are going to try and get some more. We, we do have... We do have a load more vlogs planned ready for the next coming weeks, which is exciting. So get excited for that. Um, we've got some cool ideas. Uh, and in the meantime, stay safe. Uh, look after yourselves. Give this video a thumbs up if you want. Uh, comment down below anything you want. Uh, subscribe. Hit the little bell. Do a little um, dance. Split. Turn around three yeah, times. do a little do a little jazz split. One arm in the air like you just don't care. Sniff Wave your armpit. Around. Sniff your armpit. What rhymes with round? Wave it around. Like a clown. Homeward bound. Wave it around like a clown. Just don't drown. Don't you frown. Because you might drown. You might wear a crown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye.